Hey there. So last week I shared a new and improved one-on-one cheat sheet with my list. If you missed it, if you're not on the list, you can go ahead and click on the link in the comments to get your copy. One-on-ones. This is the most important management tool a leader can use, in my opinion. And there are two common objections, two common concerns, objections that I hear from managers when it comes to one-on-ones. And so I wanted to address them today. The first is, I don't have time, Abby, to hold one-on-ones with every single one of my employees. And concern number two or objection number two is, it's really not necessary because I am already talking to my employees every day. So I don't really need to schedule this separate, dedicated one-on-one time with them. And so I want to address these two objections today. So the first one, that you don't have enough time. The truth is, well-facilitated, well-planned, well-utilized one-on-ones should actually save you time in the long run. A couple of things here. First of all, your employee should own their one-on-one, not the manager. Okay, so managers, you are not planning for and facilitating these meetings. Your employees are, and the one-on-one cheat sheet will give you a template to give to them that they can utilize. So take that off your plate. You don't need to plan for them. Instead, these are meetings where manager, you show up, you dedicate the time and the employee comes in with a well-designed agenda ready to tackle all the things that need to be tackled. So rather than them popping in your office every single day or every hour with a new question, a new thing, no, they are working on problem solving on their own in between and then bringing it all to you in one meeting in your one-on-one. That saves time. Does this mean they can't bug you in between, ask questions in in between? Absolutely not. We still want to be available, but you do want to nudge them to start to save the bulk of their questions and their updates for you for the one-on-one. Okay, so in the end, these one-on-ones actually should save time. They also allow you to more proactively address challenges, concerns, mitigate risks in advance, which should save time, okay? Uh, Objection number two that I don't really need to do this because I already see my employees on an ongoing basis. Well, here's the deal. This carved out, uninterrupted, dedicated time with our employees in a one-on-one is so much different than the typical kind of quick hellos and conversations throughout the week. This dedicated time creates space for needed conversation that will build trust and communication that needs to take place with your employees. An example here, um, a while back, I was working with a client who was going through and their organization was going through a number of challenges and changes. Okay, so this can feel unsettling to employees. Well, a very real case study here, uh, there was one leader in the organization who was very dedicated to having regular one-on-ones with their employees. There was another manager who did not. Can you imagine, um, can you guess how these two different sets of employees responded to and navigated the changes and challenges in the organization? Well, the employees who were meeting for these regular one-on-ones They felt so much different through these changes and challenges in the organization. They had this safe space where they were feeling in the loop. They were clear on what's expected of them. They knew what was coming next. They had safe space to ask questions. They felt completely different going through this challenging season with their organization than those who were not having regular one-on-ones with their employees. And in fact, the employees with managers who were not having one-on-ones They felt pretty unsettled and uneasy through this transition. Some of them were even worried about their jobs when they didn't need to be because they didn't they didn't know and they didn't have that space to connect with their manager. So if you are one who says I don't have time for one on ones or they're unnecessary, I am challenging you today to rethink that. Go download the cheat sheet and see how you can make these one on ones easy and effective, how you can make them work for you.